Hello, Virgo. I'm Sage the Intuitive, and I am here to do a Twin Flame journey read for you and your person. So either you're a Virgo, your person is a Virgo, or you have Virgo in your chart significantly, you or them. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is a new channel, so it helps the channel grow, and I appreciate every single one of those new subscriptions, comments, thumbs up, all of that. I appreciate them greatly. I'm very humbled by, by you guys who decide to subscribe to my channel. So let's see, Virgo, what's going on on your journey. Okay, Virgo. Really? What's going on with Virgo's journey? All right. There we go. So we have reconciliation, the return of a past soulmate. So someone um, is coming back in or um, there's going to be a reconciliation between you and your um, twin soul. And then we have this is your energetic match. Two birds sing sweeter than one. So you and this person who is trying to come back in to reconcile with you, um, you guys are an energetic match, I think. Leo might have gotten that card as well, but I'm not positive. Leo, Cancer, maybe. I don't know. Check them all out. <laughs> I don't remember, but check 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 all the um readings out. Maybe there's a message for you. Let's see what's going on for Virgo in their twin flame journey. Virgo, you've been working on your self-care, maybe doing some energy work, doing some um, meditating, taking hot baths, going to the spa if you are able to do that um, where you live, but even making your bathroom your own personal spa. Or maybe you're needing to work on your self-care um, if you're not doing that already. And then we have closed off. So someone here is a bit closed off or resistant. Um, someone here is, is guarded as well. So I feel like maybe one person has been working on their self-care because maybe there has been some kind of stuck energy. Um, yeah, because this person is healing. That's why they're guarded. They don't know what's going on. They're trying to get, gain some clarity. Um, and they're, they're really trying, like with them not knowing what's going on, they're trying to control the situation um, or someone is trying to control how how the situation flows but there's there is some inner child healing that needs to be worked out here and that is what's happening um, so I feel like this this really is um, like a mixture of the energies here where one person is like you know what I'm just gonna take a step back and I'm gonna work on my self-care because just things aren't going the way I want them to go and then the other person is is uh, really kind of trying to heal some inner child wounds. Uh, maybe that's why it's like it's a return of a past soulmate. Maybe there's a separation because someone was guarded or closed off. Um, someone is trying to control their emotions so much. Or maybe there was another person that was controlling this, this you know, your partner or you. Um, so take what story resonates for your situation. But there is growth that could be coming this summer. You and this person have a great amount of chemistry. Um, but it seems like the summertime is going to maybe be a significant time for you and your person uh, where there's going to be some type of significant um, growth forward. Since I may, Or maybe the summer is when this person is going to return. And then that's what's going to trigger the growth. But you and this person have great chemistry together. A very passionate um, couple here. Um, yeah, someone is working on Someone is awakening. There's, there's some things that they're clinging on to. Because they're not wanting to leave out their comfort zone. Um, 
yeah they're clinging on to the past yes so there is also someone here that's suffering from like a lack mentality and maybe that's why there's a separation but although there's a separation there is still a longing for unity and union between you and your person there's still a longing for that there is going to be abundance with this um, situation, absolutely a renewal and a new spark that's going to come in um, for you where it's going to be a reason to celebrate with your twin flame. Look at that. Um, you could be dealing with another um, earth sign, but it could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this could be just representing who you are right now, just standing in your grounded energy. Um and also, you know, planting seeds for what's to come. The seeds that could be planted in the springtime, but it may lead to a union in the summertime. So very well possible there. But for some of some of you, I definitely feel like you are are moving forward. You are um, grounding yourself, and that self care is what's helping you move forward. Your partner could be going through a dark night of the soul type of situation right now, trying to work through some shadow um, shadow energies. However, at the end of all of this, there is going to be some abundance between you and your person. Your person is very grateful for your presence in their life. And this is a wish fulfillment type of situation. So know, know that... Um, that, that this is meant to happen. This is destined to happen this way. Let's see what else we have for Virgos and their twin flame, please. So your person has free will. Someone is um, you or your person. You still have free will. You don't have to sit around and wait for this person. But then there also, it's also free will when it comes to deciding if you're going to continue your person or you are going to continue to live in destruction or you're going to make, make a refocus on what you want, um, the direction you want to go in. So you have free will or they have free will to decide if they want to still live in a, this destructive way of thinking or if they want to refocus their, um, their energies to something that's that's more constructive for them so what is going on in this twin flame journey for virgo please virgo on this twin flame journey hey <laughs> your soulmate you already had it we said it was going to be a return your soulmate your twin flame so you may not call it a twin flame you might call it a soulmate whatever they're here. They're coming. They are going through Dark Night of the Soul. We saw that. I set that over here with the shadow card. So we have the Dark Night twice. So whomever you may be dealing with, they are going through this, this shadow period. And this is why things may seem to be going a bit slow. But it's the return. They are coming. It's the return. You may need to, to compromise a little bit. So be a little bit flexible. There are some lessons that need to be learned on both sides, not just your person. You have to learn lessons too. So maybe your lessons is patience. Maybe your lesson is compromise. Um, maybe your lesson is learning about self-care and putting yourself first. Yeah, this this um, other energy is awakening um, to the situation. In the 5D, you and this person are together. You're living a happy life. You are in union. So, again, things may not, you know, I would say things may not seem, may not be how they seem in the 3D. Um, it may look totally different in the 3D. This person is really trying to reinvent themselves, the person that you're dealing with, but they're coming back. They're just going through a dark night of the soul type of situation right now. Um, so if you are already awakened, remember how that felt when you were going through it. So, you know, have some patience, have, have um, some compassion for the situation because it is not a, a you know, really fun, fun type time to um, go through, you know, the time of someone going through their awakening. So the numbers that are significant for Virgos, 828, karmic justice will be served for the highest good of all parties involved. So maybe 
the other party in here is going through their karma right now, which is why they are dark night of the souling, if that is a word <laughs> or a phrase. But that could be why they're in their dark night of the soul because they are going there. There is some karmic justice that is trying to make its way out, and this is this is happening. And and as it happens, it's for the highest good of everyone. And then under the bottom of the deck, we have one one three three. Commit to being the best version of yourself and enjoy the positive impact it has on your connection. So your self-care, focusing on yourself, your self-care, what um, is going to make you feel good right now to keep your keep your you know your sanity, to keep your vibes high, whatever you need to do, focus on that. So let's get a final message for Virgo and their twin flame journey. Final message for Virgo and their twin flame journey, please. Virgo and their twin flame journey. What is the final message, please? Angels, guides. The answers you need are coming. And the energy is gaining momentum. So again, see, things are changing. Things are moving forward. Um, under the bottom, a time for healing. That's exactly what we've been talking about here this whole time. So that is what I have for you, Virgos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, again, this is a new channel, so every subscription is helpful. I will see you soon. You guys stay safe, and um, see you later.